The other day I showed you guys that my first ever diamond god was Cupid, and after that there was a few others, I liked Changa and Amir, you know, a lot of earlier gods, but there was one mage in particular, and that is Scylla. I played her a lot. I played her quite a bit back in the day, up to around 2200 worshippers, which you're like, maybe that's not that much, but I mean, you can see I have a good amount of diamonds just kind of spread out because I'm a player who likes playing a good handful of different gods. I don't like playing the same god over and over every single day. It just gets a little tiresome and boring to me, so I have a lot of worshippers on a lot of different gods. And Scylla, which is always one of those that I really, really enjoyed. I have played her for quite a while. Shout out to the comment on screen, by the way, that asked for a Scylla gameplay. Um, just because, I don't know, I guess I a little bored of her and I started liking other mages more and so when I was playing mid matches I just stopped picking her really when I played her a lot is before I got super into conquest you know when I was just starting out and I think like most of you and I'm sure it's still a thing to this day where like new players just kind of play the base game modes like uh you know arena and assault and uh slash and you just kind of have fun with those because they are fun you know just running around and throwing out abilities on a mage is really fun in those game modes and then when I got into actually doing conquest and I saw it was a little more hardcore I guess people do try more and there's a lot more strategy and whatnot to it I decided okay maybe I'm gonna pick some other gods and I started playing you know different roles even I didn't play that much mid for a long time and so now when I come back to it I just don't really play Scylla as much so I'm excited to play here today. I did admittedly try to get this gameplay already one time. I've had not the best luck lately of getting the best teams. Uh, well, I should say before my last two videos because the last two days I had really good videos where I just fragged out like crazy, even unconventionally in Kukulkan solo lane <laughs> and just went nuts with it. And um, we'll see if hopefully we can keep that streak up. I've had some really good teammates in those videos is one of the biggest things that helped me. So we'll see what we can do here. Now let's decide what we want to build. I've been going um, just for what is it called, Conduit Gym, so much lately because it's just so good right now. I, I just feel like you can't really pass it up. Like, if I walked into Walmart, you know, and there was just a, a sexy supermodel in the freezer aisle or, you know, your Aunt Lucinda, no offense, but I'm going to pick the supermodel. And that's kind of like the difference between Conduit Gym and Santa Time right now. So that's kind of why I'm going Conduit Gym most of the time. And I've been loving this build where I go Conduit Gym straight into a Chronos Pendant so we can get easy cooldowns going right off the bat. Uh, for our Relic here, I probably will go for a beads to get out of that um execute and whatnot maybe like the roots and poles from him the knock up if i can pre-beads it and we're going against a tmn she's gonna she'll probably bully us out of lane a little bit it'll be it could be a little tough doing that so we'll try our best maybe play safe against her and get some beads maybe against her knock up too could be good or even just some of like the slows and knock ups from her uh from her ultimate we'll go three green two blue and we'll kick it from there Scylla's really fun. She's a little just like fun stuff in her kit. I think she's a good example of a god that Hyra's made back in the day that feels really fluent with her abilities and everything, but at the same time, she just works really well with herself, I think. Like her whole kit, hello there, have fun, good luck, our two goals in the game, which are to do well and to have fun with each other. <laughs> um, but she works really well with herself and that her, her kit just does good things. Like it's a root and then this does damage and then this lets you get uh, vision on people. It's basically just a mobile ward and you can dash to it. And then this gives you movement speed and does a bunch of damage and resets if you can kill somebody with it. But on top of that, they all get boosts when you hit max rank of it. Like this, the movement speed doubles. This one, uh, it gets a larger summon or uh, vision range, you know, stuff like that. Your two is going to go ahead and get protection reduction and stuff and extra slow. Like that's good stuff. Your, your, your one can go ahead and root up to three enemies in an area depending on where you hit. And it's like, that's what I look for in a god to me to be like, oh yeah, they're really well made. That god is just like super well made. I love how they perform is when they can go and do all those things and just feel balanced. Uh-uh, come here, buddy. There you go. Yeah, you're a little new to jungle or something. I don't know. But you gotta learn how to go to your farm, big man. I was actually um, in support at first. There was a build I really wanted to try, and I'm not going to spoil it for you guys because hopefully I'll have it out in the next few days because I'm going to try to get a good session of recording done tonight. I'm going to try to bonk her there if I can. And that's where we got to be careful of her stun. She might even try to use her one on us. She's going to use it on the Bastion. We're going to go ahead and just clap that up. Awesome gank. Awesome gank by him, and there's their jungler. He's going to go do those left mids. I'm probably going to chill on mid lane and just try to clear this wave. I don't want to get too crazy. But if he comes back and he wants to fight, maybe we could fight this guy a little bit. He's hitting me and it's like the wave will focus him a little bit if he does too much. Especially now that I've cleared it a good bit. 
Good root bite. Huh. Okay. You want to do right mids? That was a good movement ability by that Alkong. But it was nice to get first blood there. I had this <laughs> Erlong sure didn't know. Oh, can you back up a little bit? Thank you. I threw that a little shallow. He didn't know where to do his clear at the beginning of the match, but he's followed up really well. And that Alkong actually had to use all of his mana just to clear minions in mid. You know? So it's like, there's another good part right there. Oh, I want to see if I can get her to walk into that again. I'm okay letting a little bit of stuff walk into tower line or whatever. Like, it's chill. And we'll go ahead and keep these guys out of tower just so we can get the full XP and gold out of them. Not let tower take any away from us. And it looks like Erlon's going for an immediate gank on the right lane too. I don't know where T is actually going because she doesn't have anything out there. I guess she was just checking in case we didn't get the full farm out there, but we farm him. Dude, he actually killed him. Dang, well I guess that gank really went to went to the dicks fast, which is kind of incredible to me that he's able to fail so much. I might just have to try to stick one of these at a time. Because the thing is, she'll walk over if she's smart. But I think she's, yep, she's walked over there right now. So now what we can do is fully clear this lane. She went to her ground transformation. Now I get to bully her a little bit. We're just going to round her off there. We have our one coming up again. We're just going to keep hitting that. Like, we can just bully her like this. That's kind of what you're looking for if somebody goes and does those side objectives. I don't want to lose the uh, XP on this. And we can help him clear back yellows now, too. So we'll do that. We'll actually pop our horn charge so we can get our two up a little faster and help him literally crush this. He should be able to finish it off to where you get XP. There we go. Perfect. And how are we doing? Pretty good. We're about to hit level six, and she's not even level five yet, so we're farming well. I like this. I like how that looks. Bonk. All right, clear these guys with all our autos. Okay, fine with me. We'll actually do one more. We need 2,050, I believe it is. Yes, to get a full chronos here. Good to keep little price points like that in your head, but if you're trying to remember as much stuff as you can in Smite and trying to learn as fast as you can, uh, hunt for it. That's a really long distance on her. Little thing there. There's stuff you're trying to remember in spite early on while you're beginning. Uh, price points is not something you need to actually prioritize. It's just like a nice little thing to know. You know, oh, I know how much this costs, so I know I don't have to check it. I can just go back to base now. I don't have enough. Uh, she's really wasting her mana. Um, but it's not like a big thing where it's like, oh, I gotta remember. what? How much does this cost? Oh, how much does this cost? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, and then you worry yourself too much. And then you're just like, feel like, you know, filling your head with how much the toy, the store cost instead of, uh, you know, how much it costs to buy a burrito for dinner and then you end up starving instead, you know? It's like, sometimes it's good to look at the dollar menu at Taco Bell and say, hey, it all costs a dollar. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't think uh, fast food places really have much dollar menus anymore. I gotta be careful of uh, Kwong, so if he does come over, he could execute me. I have beads, obviously, an ult, and she backed. Really? I think I would have tagged, but... Whatever. I don't judge. I just beat up people in the streets. Let's go back to base, get our full Kronos pin in. That's too bad. What are they doing? Are they okay? I just mean like the royal them, the royal they, uh, which is my whole team. <laughs> you know, what are they all doing so bad to fuck up this mass like this? So I, like I was telling you earlier, I was gonna do support. And then uh, Aphrodite was like, hey, I'm mid, I'll give you mid. Which I didn't ask for, like, she just, she wanted to trade me. And like I told you guys recently, I've just been queuing Phil. She's right here, isn't she? Yes. Okay, well, I would use Crush on her, but I need to use it for Wave. She just keeps walking into this, which is good for me. I am so out of practice on Scylla, I need to get my shit back on point anyways. So it's like... That hit. That's a good amount of damage. We have our red up. I'm going to grab that. That should probably get us to level 9, if not just super duper close. We'll let our full stacks of our conduit get done here. There we go. Always let your conduit stack up as much as you can before you go throwing abilities out, because obviously you want that extra damage. You see how good this 20%, you know, uh, extra cooldown this early is? Like, it goes hard. And now we can finish our 2, and our bolt gets another point in it. Like we were saying earlier, we get those bonuses on our abilities from Scylla when she actually gets the max rank. Really? You stuff? Yeah. Fuck you. 
I don't need an ultimate to slap the snot out of you. Okay, thanks for the heads up. But yeah, then he picked Aphrodite. Can we increase the width on Silitu by like, I don't know, two meters? You know, two inches even, so that it actually gets the we'll wave a little better. There we go. I was able to steal some of his harm there, and I hit him for 324. He might go for our chest camp here. I don't hear him, so I don't think he did. That's how I saw him there. Well, heard him there. Fucking echo located his little freaky butt boy. Because I was like, oh, I hear noises on these side camps. I was going to farm them myself. So it's like, okay, I'll just throw my crush over the wall. It sounded like they were coming a little more from the right. So I just threw it over there on the right. And yep, we're able to slap them up. As well as this Chrono Star gives you a bunch of MP5. So it's like, you just get to go crazy. They're so fucking worthless. Also, my Erlong is diving like insanely hard right now. Which uh, I don't think is a great idea because, yeah, see that? Like he's just getting a kill. This kid might go on me. What should I hit him for? Like 300-ish. I'm going to say enemy incoming left because I do think he's walking over there right now. I have a meteor here. Yep, there he is. Well, I called it, so. I guess if he would have listened, that would have been a little nice thing for him to do. I don't really know. Maybe my call did get him on alert a little bit because it looks like he's actually going to live now. There you go. Stand together for once. We probably... Are these rights actually up? I think they are. Yeah. Oh, he didn't... <laughs> he got scared when I used my crush on him and he didn't finish farming it. What a silly man. Since we're actually pretty safe here in mid so far, I'll probably go for a Book of Thoth. Um, how much does Book of Thoth cost right now? Like 2350 overall? Oh, that's it. It's a yellow tiki. I'll keep red. I'll keep red. Let me go check how much Book of Thoth costs. Why is she so low? Did her red buff do that? 2500 Ooh, it's even more expensive than I thought. Well, we're farming really well, so... I'm not too worried about that. Thanks for the farm. I'm not... <laughs> that is some of the fun you can do with a very aggressive Scylla Dash. Nice backstep, big man. But I got enough money so I can back and get my Thoth, so... Fighting you is kind of an obsolete thing right now. I thought he might go for me. Well, I'm the only one on the team, I'm pretty sure. Nine. That's winning lane. Uh, everyone else is just like either losing lane or is equal in lane. Like Gilgamesh is doing fine. He's just kind of like there and like he's not losing in my opinion. You can check gold to 52 versus 54. Yeah, I mean, he's just he's basically equal. So it's not too bad from him. Uh, dual lane though. Terrible. Worthless. Doing nothing. Making me very much so regret that I traded. Wow. I didn't reach. That was like half a meter out. Right mids are up. Left mids are up. We'll go for left mids. And we have about a third of the life left on these wards. So we need to replace those soon. We'll let him tank the rest of this. I'll just... Uh... There we go. Be patient with your Silitus. If you just wait, she'll, you know, have to run out of Aegis, and then she's stuck in a slowing too. So it's like, okay, I'll just chill. Oh, you can see that we actually cleared the whole camp with our one, by the way, because now it hits three targets. I'm here, Erlong. You can keep clearing, buddy. Do not fret, my boy. You know, hit them all. And we'll do this other Bastion. It was good for him to clear this Bastion, but he should have helped me on right mid, just because it's better XP and gold proposition. Damn it. It was a good try. No problem. It was a good try. What what is it all still at some point? I'm just glad I'm hitting some pretty good ones and twos early on here because so out of practice I wasn't sure if I was going to. But it's like we've hit some good ones. Going for a big gank on this dude. Over here. Look like the purple is down. But if we get just a good gank here, I have beads and Aegis. I'm gonna put a ward right there, so we will see if Mr. I'm just using my beads there early. Here he comes. I use my beads, unfortunately. I 
Good deeps there, but nothing crazy. Being very stingy here, trying to walk up. Awesome. That's the solo we were looking for. I'm going to use my root there on fort. Looking for a nice two. Hit someone. Oh, I hit two. I hit Ao Kuang and I hit the Artemis. You can see I'm just always pressing my T screen here after I hit an ability. As I turn around, just like hit, turn around, press T really quick. And it'll show the god's faces of who you actually just hit with those abilities. Like right there. I don't think I hit anybody there. Actually, no, I think I hit Artemis again. I expect we can tech. Yeah, see how I have two hits of my two there. That's what I was looking for. Ah, bad root by me. We are the basic thing though, so I'll just keep hitting basics. She's dead when she lands, so we don't need to turn around for her. Ah, I keep missing my roots. That was a good two. Hitting my crushes, not hitting my roots. little sloppy on the keys right now. It's not a worry, though. Hit that. Keep focusing his bastions. Always good to knock these down if you can before you actually go ahead and grab a tower. Bead's coming up in 40 seconds. Where did my crush go? Ugh. <laughs> Ah, oh, he didn't use his. You can kill me, Artemis. Ah, oh, you can't even hit a fucking basic when I'm touching your face. That says a lot about you as a player. My boy actually just tanked the tower that entire time. I don't think I'd do a kill the Sylvanas because he started last spamming and I was like, Oh, baby boy. No. But, that was a really good rotate for us. We just tore them up for a long time. We got a lot of kills for our teammates. And revenge kills too, remember, like... Look, the only one that survived that with still having a streak is out Kuang. Everyone else has a death on the board now. You know, that was really good. We, we like that. So let's bring our team back into the modern era a little bit. They do have Sylvanas healing. Move on healing goes pretty crazy. And if I had to guess, out Kuang probably has, yeah, immediate Bancrofts. So we need to shut down his healing a little bit too. That's beautiful. And we had a nice ult there. I told you guys we'll hit a nice ult eventually. Enemies incoming left. I just saw out Kuang on top of our red buff. So I know he's going to go encounter that Erlong Shin. So you better be careful there. At least somebody got my red. So I can actually pick that up. Tell me if... No, we still don't have blue Tiki. It's the last Tiki for us. I'll stick on red for some extra sustain. Love clearing with Scylla late because you can just do that. Ah! Who the fuck are you? Bro looking like his name is Stuart Rodman out here. Get the fuck out my face. So no one ever got this freaking Stygian Beacon. That's actually kind of nuts. I want to get ganks here. I'm going to push a minion wave in. Where are people? So cool. What is that? Is that like the Ixalotl or whatever it's called? Uh, oh. I was like, maybe I'll go grab that tower. Yeah, dummy, you just got Stygian. I think I just got all three tier one towers. <laughs> That's how you farm, baby. I used to do some fat tech on Scylla for a long time when I started playing her, where I would go a Polynomicon on my build. Uh, there's tech you can do. You throw out your root, it hits somebody, and then you throw an auto, and that hits them with your Polynomicon, and then you throw your two. Uh, you can even get it timed better than that. Where you, th So let's think of it. Let's think of this Bastion as an enemy. You throw your root, and then your two, and then immediately throw your auto, and then you press your two. As soon as that auto, Polynomicon auto hits, your two is also ready to go off. And it just does, like, a huge chunk of health. You also get a little better at objective take, because, you know... Polly is really good for objective take on mages. I would like to do this pyro, but I think I'm going to go get this divine ruin first. We can, I mean, I can do the poly. We can go funny, silly mode on it. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Okay, give me money. I'm just getting the tier one here really quick because why not? If I can just get the tier one before I go out of tower, why not? We're level 16 too, so we can finish this item, and as soon as we finish it, we can save our money and get our gem of focus. Um, and we might want... A true display of strength. An enemy has been I'm trying to get to this guy. You have killed two birds with one stone. Oh my god, I cooked her. She might... Okay. Oh, shoot! 
Fuck. I accidentally pressed my beads. He's the only one alive. I could de-aside them. Oh my god, baby. I shut that little bitch down and he instantly pressed F6. He instantly pressed it. Yeah, you can only call that mid-diff. There's literally nothing else you can call that. I just pushed their eyeballs so far down their throats that they're seeing out their assholes. Jesus. Well, uh, that was only 16 minutes, so I guess I'll have to go find a uh, another Scylla game for you guys and attach it to this one. So, I'll see you there. All right, here's the situation. We have a Jungle Rat on our team, a Bologna and Solo, and then a Neath and Atlas as our duo lane. You can see the enemy team. Looks like we're going to be against a Discordia. Looks like maybe a Cthulhu support with a... Heimdall? They had two hunters is the weird part. So we'll have to see where that ends up. But I'm assuming it's gonna be Kernano solo. Or it's gonna be like some weird double hunter lane in duo. And then... Yeah, and then Cthulhu solo. We'll see what they do, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Anyways, hopefully you guys want to keep watching though. I, I noticed last time, uh, you know, check out the analytics and stuff on my videos. Just be like, oh, let's see how they look, you know, when do people stop watching if they do, which you guys are still, like, very kind for the most part, and will watch through a video quite well, the whole thing, so I really appreciate that, um, but I did notice in one video I did last week at some point, I forget which video it was, but it was kind of a little double feature thing, like this, where I got the enemy team to F6 early, I dropped my horn shard there in hopes that we could do a little something. I root this Mercury. Yeah, I did a lot of damage back to him. Especially because of minions. No, I couldn't snipe it. Don't want me, don't want me, don't want me. Don't want me, don't want me! Ah! Okay, he didn't want me. <laughs> Oops, I messed up my clear a little bit there. That's okay. That was still a good dive in from us. I was trying to get both of them in one crush. You just have to really play your health bar wisely as a warrior like that in the early game because it'll get dangerous. So I was trying to do a little bit of baiting, not the master variety, and just see what kind of damage I could do to those suckers. God, these things absolutely slant. Are you kidding me? Why are you still here? I gotta go back to base. That sucks so bad. I, I can't, I'm just gonna sit here and die to wave. And I'm gonna go back and get some farm or some loot instead. Let's go double on those wards. I didn't mean to switch them. That sucks, man. Oh, please don't die, right? Okay, good dash out. Good dash out, buddy. Whoa, he has a cool voice back. That's that base atlas? That was a nice one. Never really like listened to it. Uh, they're gonna be right here. We might be able to do something here, because I'm full health mana again. Oh, damn it, they just cleared. Uh, whatever. That's one of my favorite curses in the game, though. Garlic Breath. This skin is just good. I think I like all the vampire skins. Still has one. I think Al Kwong has one. Uh, Changa has one. I really like Changa's. Changa's is really nice. That's one of the ones I wish I owned, but I don't, unfortunately. Um, well, you can go get... Okay, I was going to say go grab your yellow, too. I'll let you do your thing, though. I trust in my junglers. Not a ton, but, you know, a little bit at least. <laughs> Never trust your jungler too much, but always trust them to at least exist. Ah, oh, I couldn't get her to backpedal. She almost did it. I was like, ooh, she's going to backpedal when she gets scared here. And she'll have nowhere to go except for right into my ult. Still ult is a pretty long cooldown, so you don't necessarily want to do it like that. But she has so much one v one potential when you do it like that, so it's just kind of like, okay, I'll give it a try. I saw an enemy right there. There's Mercury running to the left side of the map now, so unfortunately I can't go too crazy and try to get those middle harpies, because if I do, he'll probably be there and kill me. So I unfortunately need to just kind of go for this and play it a little safer. What I will do is actually pop a ward there. He hasn't gone for it yet. Maybe he's... We'll use our dash to get back over the wall. It's a nice thing we can kind of play our dash right there. 
and be a little safer. Maybe she walks up? Nope. Have a little bit extra MP5 here. Now that we're going this first item, Bronos, and obviously the Conduit too is a nice help there. Maybe she steps up. If not, we clear. And we keep playing our time to get this 1200 we need. He's doing his back yellow. Kind of just looking around at the map. Try to bait a two out of her if we can. Scordia's love using there too, obviously. Sorry, another one. But I don't think she's going to use it on me because she... Okay. Sure. You just lost your entire clear opportunity, by the way. So, nice job. Being a little careful of a Mercury ult here. I do have my beads, so it's just about if I can react fast enough. Awesome. Great gank by him. There's a dude there, too. That was just a really good gank. I don't think, yeah, Mercury won't fight us, which is smart of him. He has no reason to fight us. I'm going to go back to base because the minion waves are fighting each other. I could go and try to clear it, and it's like, yeah, not a bad plan because then I could push a little wave in her tower. But at the same time, I'd rather just go back to base because as soon as I pass my red buff, it's going to come up. So then I can do my red buff and just go back to wave and get that next. And now we're actually ahead of Disco a little bit, which is good. Noise, we'll say you rock. Keep the team morale up a little bit. Somebody does well, why let them know. Why not? Why not say, hey, you're doing good. I like the way you shake those melons in front of me, baby girl. And then, uh, don't repeat that, by the way. Don't ever repeat that to anybody in your entire life. I was saying it as a joke. I would never say that to another member of the human race. I'd probably, I don't know, chop my own peeper off before I did something like that. But, <laughs> you know, just saying. That is something you could say to someone. You're on a first date, and she's like, Man, Brian, I really enjoy your company. And then you're just like nervous. And then suddenly you kind of blurt out and you're like, I, yeah, I really like the way you shake those peepers, girl. You know, not not the best way to respond to the flirting. I'll be honest, but it's okay if you're nervous. You just got to shake the beans out, you know, shake the butterflies out of your tummy. Everybody gets nervous on a first date. What I do is I just look at my date and I think, okay, how can I make myself less nervous? And what you need to do is just ground yourself by making them feel like less of a challenge and more of a person. So you're looking for a way that makes them more, you know, down to earth, makes them more human. Um, so what I like to do is just punch them in the fucking face because what that does is it shows you they have vulnerabilities too. And one of those vulnerabilities is um, hurting when they get, you know, punched in the face. Um, and so that's just something I like to do to kind of like make my date more relatable and just someone I can really... Oh, <laughs> oh shoot! Oh my god, big deeps. Auto King, let's go. He really thought he had something with that Merkel, didn't he? Yep. I'm gonna use my Horn Shard here. I might have potential to kill. She has a lot of abilities here. We can straight line. She shouldn't be able to really hit. Well, now I die. Nah, actually, I'm good. I'm getting chased out by a whole Cthulhu. This is a grown-ass man on Cthulhu. I'm gonna just get the heck out of here. <laughs> I did not expect a Cthulhu to be there. I was like, okay, this is fun. We'll kind of just slot some abilities back and forth to Discordia. Have a fun little trade here. I'm pretty sure I could 1v1 her if I was just given a little bit more of the chance, but then Cthulhu just ran into my lane and I went, oh, because I just used my dash. I was going to dash to the other side of Discordia and then do like a fun little push on top of her and just take her out. It was going to be sick. And then he was like, hello, I have tentacles. And I went, damn, just like some of my favorite hentai. Are you kidding me? What? Oh. Suck an apple, idiot. Specifically the one you just threw. Do you just walk through everything? Is that like your kink? Interesting. Like we just mentioned, I'm in a hentai with the tentacles, but like, that's a good one too, I guess. Hey, you want to pool our resources and clear this stuff together? No? Okay, that's fine. I don't judge if you just... No, it's fine, it's fine. Wait, what? Tiki... Yeah, take yellow. Ah, I messed up on killing her. I should have been able to get her there. How much do I need for full though? It's expensive. 1150. Oh, no, oh, I didn't even need that. Oh, sorry, buddy. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see you come down lane there. It's okay. Oh, shoot. Look at this. He's, t bro's doing fucking donuts. 
in the Walmart parking lot. And they're sick as hell. That was... Look at him go, bro. Look at him. He just... He just did donuts all over to this freaking side camp. That was one of the sickest things I've ever seen. Oh, is this my... Oh, it's my Scarab's ward. I always have random wards on, so I never know which ward I'm going to get in a match. So I always like to look at that and be like, okay, which ward do I get? Because I don't know how many wards I have. Probably like 50 or something. That's always fun to be like, okay, what do I got? And then you just kind of see. And you're like, ooh, that one. I got that one with my 2007 bottle of Merlot. What a great year. Ah, oh, that's something you would kind of backtrack. I also kind of expected Atlas to throw him into me. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Should be a good rattle. He catches him, right? Uh, I don't think he quite did. Give it his best shot, though. And that we respect. Yep. Ooh. Next patch is going to be scary when he can just cast that too without having to channel it, which the patch is already out when you're watching this, but I am playing on... The literal night before the servers will come down to make the patch go live. I'm gonna say enemies incoming left, so they know. Oh shoot, I don't have enough for that. I have enough for another freaking item. That's okay. They were walking left. All those enemies left mid. Disco came back, but Cthulhu has to show up and left, right? There's no way he just like backed, did he? That'd be a really weird choice. There we go. Um, is there any? Just looking for like a chess camp I could find that I could actually buy out a base with, but I don't think that's something we're going to be able to acquire. Now, saying in that first video, I really wanted to get a uh, Polynomicon, and I would still like to do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look to do that this match. Okay. I'm gonna look for that. Yeah, okay, that should have hit. Are you gonna two as a Discordia? I'm shocked. I don't really care about Bastions, like, at all. They're just... They're extra farm, don't get me wrong. But out of anything I can do in this game, I will, like, bash my head in with a hammer. You know, sell my pinky toe to the Mafia a hundred times out of a hundred times before I ever give precedent to a freaking Bastion. I just don't care. I don't know, they're just like, I, I don't... Why should I waste my time with that? I have so many better things to do with my life. A Bastion is what you're going to waste your time with? Ro actually brought me a chess camp straight into my tower line right when I actually back to get my Book of Thoth. Okay. Stygian's coming up. You need to pay attention to that. Get a full clear here pretty easily. Yeah. Last hit some of these. We'll level our one here because that's another ability at max rank, which means it's another 25 magical power. My ward is running out up here. So I do need to refresh that, but for now at least we'll wait. Hey, look at that. I hit a Bastion. Aren't I just the best player? We're going to slap that there. We'll do mid lane before we do any oracles. You're just not the best at that, are you, Slugger? Yeah, catch that. Mercury. Maybe he walks back in. Nope, worth a try, though. That's a good setup by you, Atlas. Don't sell yourself short. But it was good teamwork, I agree. And we got Stygian out of it, so we did really good there. No problem. She was at a good ult or something, and they comboed well. You'd like to see it. Now, please just don't have six enemy team. Stick it out to the end, because you seem like good players. This Disco's been playing well. She's, uh, I wouldn't say she's outplayed me as much as I've just whiffed a, one or two different times. But, you know. She's certainly shot abilities at me. <laughs> He's going to go grab his green tiki camp. Maybe I go with them because maybe we can gank right. I never even really comes on the fact that that Heim Derriere, that's how he says it when you pick him in character select, is the solo laner. So that's pretty funny. Cthulhu's back in my lane. Looks like not much gank opportunity there in the right anyways. So I'm not going to stress over it, especially because I need to stack. Which getting that kill was nice for me since I do need to stack. This girl might walk in here, by the way. She might go, oh, look, I can get some assists here. Now that is a Scylla combo, baby. Half her freaking health, and we're only half. Woo! 
Okay. Obsessed with me much? Oh, come on. He just had his dash. Did you see how little time my root lasted because of how CC chained he is? Shit, he just got that off. I couldn't quite hit that. Rat kills with his ult, though. Do you think... Oh, shh. Shoot. Can you come here? Can you come here? Ah. Uh, yeah, unfort. He didn't walk back. He's going to oracles. Shoot. Oh, that freaking Cthulhu transformation right when I shot my Sikkim at him. 17 seconds on rat respawn, so I'm actually going to do this yellow without him. Sorry, rat, but Papa needs farm. Papa needs farm, and we ain't talking simple potatoes, okay? We're talking our red buff made out of, I don't know, the blood of our enemies or some shit. Oh, I just got here, bro. Hold this, please. Hold this. All right, we'll keep level on our three. Level 16 is good so far. We're four levels ahead of Discord. I just kind of put in perspective how well we are actually farming. Uh, like I said, I really do want to go this poly. I think first what I'm going to do... Let me think this through. I can go Spear Desolation for 10% more cooldown, and then I can go Polynomicon for our power and our combo right there, and then I can finish it with a Tahuti. Yeah, that'll be fun. Ooh, that's a full item if I don't get any wards. Go ahead and clear that, buddy, because I'm not quite there yet. There we go. I like that. It's a full item for us. And that's a big item, too, because we can get kills and just immediately loop back into our abilities. Chronos, Pendant, and Spirit Desolation just work perfectly with each other because they both work off the same principle, which is I get cooldowns that just chunk up faster. You know, it's like that's what you're looking for. Just kind of hoping I could clear my wave a little better, but <laughs> Bro kept half of it for himself. I don't have any more rewards here. I will say this rat, by the way, is really good. And my Atlas is really good. You know, neither of them. This might be bad for me. I'm fine with that. I was hovering my four because I was like, if I'm going to do something here, it might need to be pressing my ult just to get CC immunity. So the second that a, a, a Discordia 2 appeared on top of me, I just pressed my 4. I immediately went into CC immunity, so I could just get out of it. That's, that's all I was focused on. Merc could still gank me here. Nice health, idiot. Thanks for giving it to me. Uh, let me check something, actually, because... Okay, Cthulhu's just not stacking well. I was wondering, I was like, why am I... Oh. Whatever. I have a 1. I was like, why am I hitting this Cthulhu so hard? He's just not doing well on stacking his... Prophetic and his thieves. Gotcha. Like, look how hard I hit him. I'm actually auto king, bro. You might want to be careful with where you stand. Go for it, big rat. Go for it. I would recommend learning where those disco balls fall down because when you see the ball coming back down, the big ball, you can exactly know where to stand. To where they won't hit you. <laughs> so once you become good at Discordia, it's just another little, you know, bonus you get where it's like, okay, the ball is falling down. I'll step to my left, step up a little bit, and then you know that they're not going to hit you because those can proc item effects, you know, like a soul gem or whatever, the soul reaver. So it's good to just get those. What? I was hoping he'd be able to push her into that, and he was actually, uh, my prediction was correct that she was going to run straight into it, but then she got a little bit too scared, and she backed off. It back into Rat, to be fair, you know. What if we all group and do this? Just, what does Neath have, though, is the question. Oh, she doesn't have lifesteal. She doesn't have lifesteal, then unfortunately we can't quite do this. Do you want to try? I'll try with you if you want. Just like, we're gonna have to juggle it. Maybe not even juggle it. Maybe just cuck it. Okay. 
just glad she listened to my call. I second guessed it for like a little bit because I was like, can we? Without the whole team, you know, without like a good tank here because we're already a little low. And I was like, I'm not sure. But then she walked up and she looked really gung ho about going for it. So I said, okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and commit. We have good damage. As you can see, I just did. 1400 to it with my basics and 900 to it and killed it with literally just my sickum, you know So we were doing just fine on our damage the Team needs to use these awards a little bit. I've been able to wear the past two times that I backed <laughs> Just because I've been full buying items now we have polynomicon by the way, so I was kind of showing you that Earlier we can go like this Polyproc immediately and if you use our abilities correctly, we can keep getting polyprocs forever I'll throw this down just so I can make sure I secure with it. Oops! I just fat-fingered that. <laughs> Enemy ultimate incoming. We both just called that. Hello there. Guys, just... <gasps> oh! Get me out. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I don't actually want to quit. Get this motherfucker off me! I went really aggressive there. But I forgot to account for the fact that for some reason the Mercury was able to just walk over to me. I thought they were going to catch him out in the jungle before he was ever going to have a chance to walk up to me. But no. Don't trust your teammates. It's rule one of smite. <laughs> and number two. Just got unlucky because this Dishordia that's a pretty good insult. Dishordia. I've never heard anyone say that one. That's pretty good. Okay. We'll keep that in the back pocket. If I ever meet someone named Discordia in real life, and they piss me off, oh, they're going down. When I scream that insult out at the top of my lungs at 3 a.m. in the club, music instantly record scratch. Everyone's like, did you just hear what that motherfucker said? I'm just like, yeah, baby. That was pretty good, wasn't it? We're going to save our money for now so we can go ahead and get him a focus in a little bit. Okay, not too bad. His yellow's coming up. You can just clear middle if he wants. I'll do this for him. I'll help him out there. There we go. We'll grab this blue. We are full cooldown. Excuse me. Blue Tiki, red buff. We are full cooldown when we have this thing. They're doing middle wave, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some importance over here. Oh, did you see that? Neethal fly through. Oh, I want to get there. It could be such a good gank. She doesn't even need me. Hello there. <laughs> Are you backing? I don't like that, because now I'm stuck in your lane. I don't want to get Mercury ulted. No, it's not. Nothing's too bad. You did great. I assumed you were going to do great. Is there blue up? Oh. Papa likey farm. Hey. There we go. Max level, baby. 500 gold. Then we can back. Oh, gosh. Hello there. We're just warding this jungle hard, which I like to see, to be honest. I'm gonna ward on fire, too. Cthulhu, Discordia, mid. A good grab from him could be huge, but nope. I gotta be careful using my dash like that and then sitting in mid because. Hey! Why are you throwing. <laughs> Why are you throwing that way? I was about to get ready with the crush there. Hey! Hey, come, I'm back, come back here! This is supposed to be a team effort! Eh, he's not even charging. He'd be glowing more if he was. Do you think we could just, like... Do gold? Oh my god, that damage was huge. Bonk. Yeah, we could just, like, do this, I feel like. They can show us... Show us Can't speak my words correctly. Show you how much extra damage we have on this thing with Polynomicon. Watch this. You know, bonk. Big leaps. Oh, yeah, look at that disco. Did you see her? She's all the way back here. Enemy spotted. Okay. You gonna get here, Atlas? No, you're not. It's okay. I kind of expected you not to. Oh, no! You. Okay, wait. We still hit it. <laughs> he took him out of my crush for a second. You see that, though? Look at that. We just did 760. Well, that was the last crush that I hit him, too. But the point is, it did half his health with one Polynomicon combo. Okay, you guys are fine. Go ahead and back. Ooh. 
I don't think that. He gets a good grab or something. We could just crush the case. Level 18, remember that. We have enough to back and get him a focus now. Oh. Ah! Oh, he's gonna attack me and he just didn't. Can you just die already? I was trying to be nice and just like hit you with a polynomial gun. Watch this. Idiot! <laughs> I just did a thousand damage. Look at it, Abazel, the one hit of that. Uh. What's up, bro? Yeah, I think I got him again. He's almost dead, I think, off those two abilities. Hey! Don't touch my tower, bro. I didn't give you permission for that. It's like grabbing my cheeks in the middle of McDonald's. Just because I'm into it doesn't mean I consent to do it. Feel me? Completely different things. Liking it and consenting? Different. Me baking a pie for your grandma and then giving it to her. And I'm just like, here's, I baked you this pie. And she's like, I don't like pie. And I'm like, I made it gluten-free so that you can eat it. And she's like, mm, I don't know. I'm still not really into that. And then I go, please eat the pie, Bethany. And then she says, okay, I finally consent. You see, that's the difference, because she finally consented to eating the pie. And I feel like I kind of got lost in this analogy. Point being, we should do Pyromancer. Everybody just groups up. It's time for Neath to group. To man this shit. Because Neath has just been sitting and left the entire time. It's time for her to spread her wings a little bit and get the fuck over here. Wow, I just half hit that thing. They don't have wars in this, right? No. That secures. Look at that. Oh. No, you're good, Chief. You are absolutely good. Did he get? Yes, he got power bomb. Gucci, Gucci. What's up, Alana? You need to heal a little bit. I just want this team to actually... Oh, he backed and she's still pushing up. I just don't want her to get like... Mercury ulted. Wow, I actually almost killed her. Look at those deeps. Oh! Holy fucking... Wow! 1300 damage. Maybe she should stay in duo lane if she plays like that. <laughs> oh my god. She does be toxic, so I'm just gonna mute her, by the way. Shitty ADC cries when she can't play the game. She literally had an entire Discordia on her right and decided to just keep walking up for the complete reason of not having good positioning. Hey, my rat went to mid. Completely fine. Let's kill this guy. I heard a blink. Or it's a Tifi, wasn't it? Oh, I missed my... Big auto. I don't want to get Mercury ulted. I'm trying to stay behind walls a little bit and stuff, just in case he does ult down lane. Because if you just stand there straight shot, it's like, yeah, that's where it gets kind of risky. That's Polynomicon. Oh, that did hit. Damn it. Fucking minions. Every time. There's got to be a Merkle coming at some point here. Polynomicon and a two hit there. Made him one HP. Use a one on that corner in case he steps up again, but he didn't. Yeah, I'm starting to feel the still a little more again. Easy gold fury here. Jim of Focus is going crazy too, I'll say that. I mean, that combo on the Cthulhu or whatever it was <laughs> that just hit the big old Polynomicon shot. You can see the poly shots. It actually killed for zero, obviously. That's not true. It just says that. On for rattle. Awesome. Ah, uh, no, I didn't need to ages there, but it was still fine. Looking for something here. On fort. 
<laughs> you back them all up? I don't want to get too cracked on by this kid. God, I hate Cthulhu so much. Don't make him stronger, please. That hit. Speed boost from Atlas. Noise. I'm going to back and get this item. It's a Tahuti. It's huge. I'm going to stand behind Tower as I back, just in case the Merkel rams down lane. And she should be able to die now. She just used her abilities and need the standing there, right? So she should clap that. Maybe not? Neath must not. Yeah, she doesn't have ult either. Okay. I messed up that fight a little bit. Mercury's going to keep focusing me. I mean, you guys have seen the videos. I get focused no matter what role I play, so let's be used to it. Um, I would love to help you. I'd love to help you, too. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to dash in for you because I don't trust you. Actually, I will dash in because I trust Atlas. I trust Atlas. He gives good CC and tanking, like Peel, and just he's a good support from what I've seen so far. We can do this. They haven't been warding the enemy team really, so I'm not really worried that this is warded. To be completely honest with you, so we'll just go ahead and clap this up. He could interrupt that with this one. I'm pretty sure and he should be. Yes, I like I like the call of fire giant. I'll actually grab bomb. I'm not the one that should be holding it, but you know. Okay. Okay, wow, I didn't think that would work out for him, but here we are. You can also one-shot Effigy like that when you have Polly. Looks like we're gonna commit to this. Okay. Okay, please, Smite. I gotta go back and heal. They all wanted to. Taking. Oh. Well, see you later, scrub. They all wanted to uh, ignore fire for some reason. Like, you're the only tank that's there, Atlas. You can't just run off of it. Let Rat get off and zone a little bit. Why do they keep fighting when they I spam need healing and they saw me back? This is the shit I hate when people do. <sighs> why, 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 why? Luckily, they're still kind of winning it, but there it is. I don't have my... We have polyprots on this. Don't even need them, to be honest. They want to attack Titan. Yep. Well, obviously, attack Titan. Should I go ahead and dish all my damage into it? That's much better. That's the game we... Deserve to get. Awesome. It's too bad the Disco kind of quit. I mean, she... I don't know, like, she wasn't even that bad in the beginning, and then she just kind of, like, started eating cheeks. I would have beat her a lot more if I was warmed up in the Silva more. Because there's a few abilities I just pulled way too hard. Even some autos sometimes that I pulled a little bit, where I could have killed her. GG. For the most part, GG. Until she kind of just rage quit. Let's check out these stats, though. Let's see how we did. And if you actually stuck through both the matches, then thank you. Because it makes sense, right? You get a bunch of gameplay, you probably want to watch it. That's kind of why you clicked on the video. <laughs> Either way, we did pretty good damage there. We couldn't even really get to a point where you're, like, getting that crazy in the team fights. I mean, I probably would have hit 30, 32,000 if I got in that last team fight, but my team just gas pedaled it because I'm the one who had a tank fucking fire giant because this num nut just ran out of it and then he ran out of it too and it was like are you kidding me why why am i tanking this right now i hate when stuff like that happens and i'm just stuck there having to tank it more and it's like okay cool i need to go heal now because guess what i don't have life steal on this build really except for 12 percent on polynomicon i have fire giant hp5 but i don't trust that when there's a mercury that can come through if i'm half health and beat me up in two basics because, you know, he has full crit and can just go boop, boop, and I die. You know, if I'm not instant, basically, on my relics. 
So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to base and heal. And unfortunately they just went without me. But to be fair, when I got there, I did kill Cthulhu and then ended the game off my damage really easily. And I was wondering about the bomb. <laughs> So, you know, it all works out in the end. But hey, if you guys enjoyed, let me like or subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that. You want to hit that notification bell so you can see more in the future because that'll send the videos straight to your inbox as soon as they are released every single day. But that is going to do it for me today. So as always, have a great day.